Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm I'm doing a reading for Taurus and Aries. Taurus and Aries. This is for Taurus and Aries. All right, if you're dealing with the Aries, this is for you. Okay. Taurus is dealing with an Aries. Aries is dealing with a Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Mode. Mars, Jupiter, Spirit, give me what I need. Clear answers for my Taurus. This is involved with the Aries. Here we go. Cut the deck. At the bottom of the deck, you got the nine. <laughs> you got the nine of one, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Here we go. Give me what I need. All right, so you got the sun and you got the empress, okay? That's, um, wow. This is, sun is illuminating a new beginning. You got the five of wands in reverse. You have the two of cups. You got the Ace of Swords. This is my card dealing with an Aries. You got the Eight of Wands. Wait a minute. Wow, you got two that came out. You got the Two of Wands and you got the Hierophant. All right, so you got Taurus here twice. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, oh, you got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, good gracious, Two of Cups. Whoa, okay. So um, the sun is illuminating that it's a new beginning coming. Someone is not in mental, in, not in mental confusion anymore. They've been stagnant and juggling their thoughts and not, and not coming, um, and you haven't talked to this person. Mm -hmm. This person had to make make up their mind what they were going to do. They've been consulting spirit about this new beginning. That's what they've been doing, okay? They've been definitely getting some downloads from spirit and praying about this, um, seeking advice from spirit to get this, about this new connection, okay? You got the empress. Is, this empress is here. This is Taurus, okay? And you got the Hierophant. This is Taurus. So maybe if you're dealing with an Aries, this person, not maybe, if you're dealing with an Aries, this person does have some earth in their chart. That's what I'm picking up, okay? They definitely got the fire going on here, okay? You got the Eight of Wands and you got the Five of Wands, okay? And then you got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, but you also have um, the Ace of Cups. You got the Nine of Cups. And then you got the two of cups, okay? So this is this is really beautiful, okay? Um, this, you know, it shows that you stable, you about your money, but this is love. This is a lot of love. And you got the ace of swords here. You got to understand this is truth and clarity. Now, this person has been juggling their thoughts about this connection, okay? They wasn't for sure, okay? But the truth and clarity is they got truth and clarity that they're coming in to bring some 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 messages are coming in. They not they they don't have no mental confusion anymore or they're not in not confusion but mental conflict. Okay, they had a lot of mental conflict. They was juggling a lot in their mind about this connection, okay? And the the two of wands just let me know that they was um pretty much they had to make up their mind. Then they made up their mind. They're ready to come in with this love. Okay, you got the page of wands, okay? This is somebody that's going to come in pretty fast, okay? All right. Okay, let's see. You got the King of Wands. You got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash, but this is for Aries. So let's get some more. I want to get some more because I got to get some more. But it does show that this person is guarded. This person is guarded. Not only is this person guarded, they're wounded. That's why it took them so long. This, this mental conflict that they've been in and probably conflict in their life, okay? They've been juggling a lot, juggling a lot of things. Maybe not just people, but they've been juggling situations in their life okay and they didn't know whether or not this is what they wanted to invest in okay 
but they come, they don't, they don't left. They, 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 they coming out of this confusion. This, I'm sorry, this conflict. I don't know why I keep saying confusion. They might be, yeah, the two, two of pentacles. They might have been confused. Okay, let's see what else is going on. At the bottom of this deck, you got the nine of wands. Yeah, very insecure, um, wounded warrior type energy. Okay, they've been fighting all their life. <laughs> let's see. By no means am I laughing at it. Well, spirit, you got the Queen of Cups. All right, you got the Queen of Cups. Somebody ready to express their love, okay, to this Queen of Pentacles. Wow, see? Wow, wow, wow. You got the Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm, you got the Knight of Cups. Pretty much is giving us the same energy. This is actually nice. You got the Queen of Wands. This is a divine counterpart, okay? You got the King and the Queen of Wands. Both of y'all passionate. Both and, and maybe uh, you are Taurus and you have a lot of fire in your chart. Don't know. It don't matter. At the end of the day, this is pretty much saying that both of y'all are passionate. This is a d divine counterpart and y'all both are ready to express your love to each other. That's why the Two of Cups is here. And you got the Ace of Cups. Okay? You got the Ace of Cups here. Okay? Let's see. It's been slow. This person been very slow. All right, this you got the six of cups. All right, this is a soul. This is a soul connection right here. Okay, you got the six of wands. This person been in their ego too. It's in reverse. Okay, this person has not had a lot of success in what they were supposed to do, what they've been doing. That's why they've been in a lot of conflict, mental conflict, and that's why they the wounded warrior as well. Okay, you got the sun card. This is illuminating that this person has not had success, and it's this king of pentacles. Okay, this king of pentacles, and you got the queen of pentacles. It's a lot of uh, divine counterparts in this reading. Good gracious, y'all are definitely mirroring each other. The king and the queen of pentacles. You got the king and the queen of wands. Okay, wow. This is truth and clarity that this person has been stressed out about a lot of things. This person is agonizing over something or agonizing over you, okay? They have not been successful in their endeavors. They've been in their ego a lot. Mm-hmm. They've been in their ego a lot. And what they eat and being in their ego, they've been juggling their thoughts, trying to see if you was the one that they wanted to come to. You got the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. There you go. Truth and clarity. This person... Yeah, this person, they, they definitely love you, okay? This person now held them, themselves back from sending you messages. Because I do believe they thought the grass was green on the other side. They've been looking at other, they've been, they've been trying to, you know, juggle and trying to figure out, go somewhere else. They had a lot of mental conflict because they thought it was something better out there. But the only thing they have done is ended up uh, causing more turmoil. And I'm not going to see, I don't really see turmoil. I see more so of a lot of mental conflict. But they have not had any success. Mm-hmm. And they stressed out. <laughs> what else, spirit? Yep. They're walking towards you, okay? They walked away from me. Now they're walking towards you fast, okay? You got the chariot. They done made a judgment to come towards you, okay? This is for Taurus. It's dealing with the Aries, okay? Whoever this person was, they was in their ego. They pride in their ego. But baby, they wasn't successful. They were not successful. And this mental conflict is definitely there. And they've been guarded, mm-hmm. But they're coming in fast. They're coming in fast. You got the Knight of Swords. They go to lovers. I'm not surprised the lovers came out, okay? This person uh, made a judgment. Okay, let me see. You got the chariot and you got the eight of cups. This person has made a decision and they walked, the, they're walking away from all these other so called options that they were juggling and then they made up their mind to come into their twin. It is what it is. This is a this is a soulmate connection. Okay, this is a soulmate con connection. You got the king and the queen of wands, Aries, uh, and then you got the king and the queen of pentacles, Taurus. And you got the Empress, okay? And the sun illuminated that this is getting ready to be a new beginning. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get some messages for you all. This is for Aries. Is dealing, I'm sorry, Taurus is dealing with an Aries. Spirit, give me what I need. Okay, you got Butterfly evolving, new phase. <laughs> this person is releasing the past, okay? Yeah, they're releasing the past. Butterfly, mm-hmm. Wow. 
you have to go through something with this person, okay? And you come, that's a new phase. New phase came out twice, okay? Rekindle, you got the phoenix. This is rekindle, um, renew, growth, change your mind, rise from the ashes. All that juggling and all that mental conflict, change your mind right here, okay? You got love. You got unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection, attraction, selflessness, and you got passion. Both of y'all are passionate about each other. Mm-hmm. It's going to shock you when they come in. Sure is. It's going to be a surprise because they, they, they have changed, okay? Happiness and joy enjoying each other honeymoon phase so it's giving me the vibe that this person <laughs> this person coming in to uh reveal what they sabotage and they're gonna be persistent on working on this and repairing this okay that's why you got new phase yeah this person and, and i ain't gonna even lie it's, it's coming to me that this person that got older i don't know why but it's come to me that this person I got older and life is showing them something. It's showing them that this superficial stuff out here is not working, okay? So you got a divine counterpart, okay? You got new beginnings coming with new love coming. You got the king and the queen of uh, pentacles and you got the uh, king and the queen of wands and you got love. <laughs> Baby, you got love. You got love and stability, okay? King and the queen of pentacles, that means the stability, loyalty, dedication, okay? Stubbornness. <laughs> you got the Hierophant. Y'all have a direct connection with spirit. You will have messages coming in because this person have not, this person has not been sending you messages. You have not talked to this person, but you will. And this is truth and clarity. You got new beginnings coming, okay? And it's coming in fast. And the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Congratulations, okay? So this is my reading for Taurus is dealing with Aries. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.